And right now at 6, a Bernalillo County deputy accused of assault will be able to wait for his trial at home. That's right. That's what a judge at least decided today. Deputy Michael Barreco is accused of threatening to shoot two people. Our Monica Legronio joins us. So, Monica, why did a judge decide to release him? Trevor, Judge Joseph Montano says he believes the state didn't present clear and convincing evidence that Borreco is a danger to the community, which is vital when it comes to deciding whether a defendant will be released or not. Members of the public, and particularly children, look up to and even emulate members of law enforcement as examples. State prosecutor John Kloss argued Michael Borreco is a danger to the community and should stay behind bars while he waits for his trial. One of the complaining victims attempted to explain himself and as he and the other complaining victim approached the passenger side of defendant's vehicle, defendant pointed a gun at them and said, quote, I'll take your soul from you, close quote, and also told them to back up and get away. January 21st, the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office deputy was arrested for allegedly threatening to shoot two people while drinking off duty in a convenience store parking lot. Before the interaction, surveillance video appeared to show Borrego buying a 100 milliliter bottle of vodka and getting into his car. When police searched Borreco's car that night, officers say they found several other empty bottles of alcohol, 16 100 milliliter bottles and three 200 milliliter bottles. Borreco's lawyer, Les Romain, argued the court should release his client with conditions. We believe that uh, based on clear and convincing evidence, the state has not shown that there are no conditions of release that would reasonably ensure the safety of the community. Judge Joseph Montano ultimately agreed with the defense and decided to release Borreco with conditions. I'm finding that the state has not met its burden by clear and convincing evidence that Mr. Borreco is a danger. The court can fashion conditions of release to address uh, what clearly seems to be a, a, an issue of alcohol, and that is something that can be monitored by pretrial services. As part of Borrego's conditions of release, he's not allowed to drink alcohol or have guns in his possession. He will be allowed to travel outside the state to get treatment, but will need approval from the court to do that. We reached out to BCSO to see if he's still a deputy. They told us their administrative investigation won't begin until the criminal investigation is complete. Back to you guys. <laughs> Deputy Michael Barreca was arrested in connection with an incident that happened at a gas station. It reportedly took place after the deputy's shift ended. Court documents state that Deputy Michael Barreca reportedly pointed his gun at two men outside a Circle K. Surveillance footage shows Barreca went in the gas station and purchased a small bottle of vodka. He was then seen getting into an unmarked police truck parked in front of the store. Barreco addressed the two men over his PA system, flashed his emergency lights at them, and identified himself as a Bernalillo County Sheriff's officer. Okay, thank you. Hi, sir. Over here, uh, sir, that's okay. Uh, we're leaving the sugar key, and uh, we're out there opening a candy in a leaf. And this guy, uh, you know, he's on a PA system and turns some lights on and says, Get out of here. Get, get, uh, get, get out of here. Take your business out, sir. So we know where he's talking about. So, so then uh, I, I just said, Excuse me. I started walking like this, and he pulls his gun out on me. He says, Get the fuck back. Get the fuck back. I said, I said, Why? He goes, This is the sheriff's office. I said, whatever, dude. So he started walking and he kept playing a gun like this to us. He said, well, I'm going to take your soul. I'm going to take your soul from you right now. Keep tying in this guy. I think this officer is new and either intimidated or just feels weird. You'll understand what I mean in just a few minutes. Hello, sir. My name is Officer Roland Lakeney. Are you security here? No, I'm just, just chilling. Yeah, thank you. So the reason why I'm talking to you is uh, we got a call for service about a uh, silver Dodge, a gentleman the pointing a gun problem. at somebody else, saying he's going to take a soul and doing all that. Do you mind just stepping out for me real quick so I can complete my investigation? Because this is the truck that they named. And then you're standing inside of it. I, I understand that. You saw me walk around the corner. I'm just trying to do my investigation, okay? Okay, just go ahead and step on out for me. Do you have a gun or anything? No? Okay. Go ahead. Okay, that's fine. Um, did you have an idea with you? Yeah. Okay.
we just got in there. So you, you don't have a gun or anything? I saw the vest in there. Yeah, I got a vest. But no gun? You're not pointing it at anybody or anything like that? Ten four. Do they have a description of the male subject, or just a vehicle? Yeah, it's like we're working on everything. But the vehicle is going to be 2015 Dodge Ram, maybe blue or gun that will. Ten four. I'm making two five with blue now. Thing, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, like I, I said, just got here, no, I know. So, like I said, <laughs> we got a call. Someone's sure. pointing guns. This is the yeah. vehicle they gave. No, That's understand. why I'm talking to you. Yeah, um, I literally just got here. I'm trying to figure out a description yeah. for the male that did this. No, I get a bit. Um, so once they get me that, we'll continue well, going. Okay. If they give me the description that matches you, what we'll do is we'll do a field ID okay. of the person that's okay. what that's called is whoever our caller is. We'll come sure. do all that stuff and right. either say that's him or that's not him. Okay. Uh, Do you have a phone number? Alright, so there's that for you. Yeah. Just give me a favor, just hang out. Um, like I said, we're just waiting for some of that information. You you're not working security or anything? No. What do you do for work? I work for the county. You work for the county? Yeah. What do you do with the county? I'm on the SO. Oh, you are? Yeah. So you're off duty? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, Brett, where are you at? So I'm like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> I'm on the west end of the Circle K. You didn't have any altercations with anybody? No arguments or anything? Yeah. All right, good, brother. No, it's like you see? Awkward. Yeah, I know. It is. It's oh, super yeah, awkward. Yeah, like, just fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Um, you know, you see or anything like that? You don't got a PA in here or anything like that? Is it your POV? This isn't your POV? Or this is? No, this is my county car. This is your county car? Yeah. Okay. What's up, brother? No, I'll get it. <laughs> Some more awkward silence. Super awkward. Yeah, like we're just waiting for the description of the guy or whatever they're doing over there, so. What's that? We're just waiting to what other whatever the other officer's doing over there with our oh, caller. Yeah. So um, I don't know if he's doing a build ID or whatever. So. Sure. But so this is your county car? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. You off today? What's up? What are your What are your normal days of working? Uh, just Monday through Friday. When it's oh, you guys are on five eights. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking nice. Yeah, that's good. Nice. Oh, I don't mind the twelves. <laughs> like the extra fourth day for like my weekend is nice, but yeah, twelve sucks sometimes. No, I get it. Yeah, it's just. I know. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not. I thought you were a security guard, man. Oh, no, no, APD. <laughs> I know you probably got all nervous when I flashed my lights. So oh, yeah, like, oh, is this the truck? Security guard, bro. And I was trying to see if anybody was inside, but I couldn't see. So then I was like, oh, but then I heard it on. So I was like, oh, I'll go knock on the window. <laughs> How long have you been with us? That's 15 years. Yeah, <laughs> five. <laughs> I got five. I got twenty more. Yeah, I got twenty more. I'm so upset. You got on the twenty? Yeah. Five left. Five. <laughs>
from 33 seconds to 5 seconds, so have a minute of silence. I know, but I don't, I like for me, per, I, I don't put people in cuffs, like if I don't have to. I don't put people in cuffs unless I have to. Come if that isn't the weirdest shit you ever heard. Yeah, no, I get it, bro. So like, like awkward as fuck that's why I'm like, I'm not like, <laughs> what's going on? I mean, can have you sit down and you'd be a little bit more comfy, but. Nah, man. You a football guy? What's up? You a football guy? Mm-hmm. Like you watch football, NFL yeah. and stuff? Who's yeah, your team? Niners, Niners? Oh, nice. Yep. Barely made it out last week. Yeah, Green Bay. Yeah, <laughs> well, Green Bay got hot at the right time. I think their team was just a little too young. Yeah. I'm like, a Saints fan, so I have Ever since Breeze left, we've been here quite a bit. You want to be a nice team? I'm just starting to acknowledge it's not even zero one. Yeah, this is super awkward. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward yeah. moments. Yep. This is Michael. Michael? Yes, sir. Okay, Michael. So, um, just to let you know, bro, right now, you're going to be detained. For further notice, just pending investigation, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, so, we do have to place you in handcuffs for now, okay? Uh, uh, just until we can start some more investigation yep. of what's going on, okay? What to go? Like I said, I told you what we got called here for, and I hate doing double cuffs sometimes. Let me uh, take you down over here in my car, okay? I haven't patted him down or nothing. Let me slip sec. Yeah. There you go. You got the fob. I see Bernie again, man. Just stand by for me, okay, man? Yeah. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go talk to you the second site. Yeah. So I'm thinking get more information, and I'll come and talk to you. Yep. Uh, so he said he had just gotten five six. He was just hanging out. There's a like a vest, like a duty vest in there. He's been with Visa for 15 years. Yeah, and he said he keeps saying that's his county vehicle, but I don't know if that means like work or like POV for us. But it's so I don't know. But there's a vest inside the vehicle. Yeah. Yes, right now for what they're saying, possibly impersonating an officer if he's actually actually an SO. Yeah. Okay. Um, is Sarge here? Yeah, no, that's what I said. Like, there's a vest in this thing. I was asking, I was like, oh, you got all this stuff in there? And he kept saying no, but I didn't go in the vehicle to see the vest or anything like that. So, all right. Yeah, it's a vest. It says sheriff right there. It's got a taser, rifle mags. There's his pistol. He told me he didn't have a gun. Here's his radio. 
Uh, I don't see. Yeah, he might be a thirty. He might be a legit thirty-four. But I don't see a PA system. I just imagine sure. turning the cameras so we'll work on that so we can get some footage. Okay. So let's positively ID him. Yeah. Because Tristan's going to TOT the other guy over here. Yeah. So okay. We'll do that first and then. I, I mean, I got his. I mean, I don't know if you can read it, but you can run him right now and ID him. I just ran him on NCIC. Michael. Yeah. So there's that. You, Michael Parsons or put yeah. Uh, the last one on the bottom, I don't think it's legible. That's his phone number, but the one on top vehicle, and it's like UC or if that's his POV. He also said he works, from, been working with BSO for 15 years. Oh really? Yeah, maybe is that so? Maybe he is. Maybe he isn't. I don't know. Um, like yeah, I think uh, Kristen added it to the call. So do I would probably yeah, have it a. Doesn't, maybe it's a. What is it called? Those plates? That they skip. Yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. how are you, sir? Uh, do you want to? Do you want to? Okay. He's saying actual that's something where he stole a bunch of shit. We don't know for sure. So, do you want to get an SO sergeant here to figure out who? Because I can ask on the radio. Because I think like, we should. Let me talk about the impact first. Okay. But, yeah. Okay. So yeah, we'll just wait for a second. Yeah, actually, can you just grab the bin? Oh, it's matches? Yeah, that place doesn't go. No, no. Oh, oh, it might be yeah for their UC stuff. Okay. What's that? Sorry. Is it both of them or is it one specific? Yeah, it's cool. Both of them? Okay. Good scene. I know. Is that better? Yeah. Yeah, man, we're looking at cameras right now, dude. And then, like I said, I appreciate you working with us. I know. I know handcuffs suck. That better you want to turn it you want to turn it yeah okay give me a second there you go go ahead and turn whichever way you want it oh. yeah. you want it like that yeah that's cool. okay good in there that better is it yeah that's good okay Is it on there? Yeah, I think so. Oh, this one. Oh, there we go. Let's try to turn. Let's try to yeah. Let's try to turn your wrist a little bit more. Can, can you go? I know. I'm just trying to find a, the best way to make yeah, no, it get, comfortable. There you go. There you go. That'll work. That'll work, right? Yeah. It's okay. Fine. We'll just double lock him. All right. All right, Michael. Well, that's Things out there, uh, get your notes for it. Okay. He's a big dude. That's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing there either way, all right. Can you do this one more time? Like, Absolutely. I appreciate that a lot, just so we can see it again. And it's like the, oh, this is this is really you could have been hey get the hell out of yeah. here. They're, like, they're, their, 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 their reaction wasn't yeah, their reaction yeah, casual. Yeah. This is this is what I think happened. He saw me. He's probably getting high. He said, "Guys, get it out." Yeah, yeah. A little bit further back. Yeah, further back. Yeah, when like, the coach is the vehicle. Right there, that'd be good. Could 
because they left right after they had words. So I, I think it was just a, him doing his job, even though he was off duty, as a positive interaction, pinning up the sidewalk, in my opinion. <laughs> He doesn't seem to be much in a hurry. Neither of them do. No. And he and, and you can and he'll play. You can see right. I can go further. Um, I said that. And number, I don't. Hey, gate call. Somebody else wants to call because you can, and his windshield. You can see police lights coming up very soon. So this yeah, yeah. should probably call. Oh yeah. Earlier. So would, oh, yeah. Okay. That's interesting. We'll be back. Thanks, sir. Okay. Thank All you. Right. Did you anything else from there, or? With me again, sir? Yeah, I'm sorry, sir. I'm not trying to bug, man. I'm just trying to figure out what the status is. Like, I just really want my wife to know that, like, I'm okay. If I'm dead somewhere, just only for me an hour. Okay. We're actually almost done, and we can do that, yes? Just give her an update. And we'll give you an update really soon, okay? Was that your only question or concern you wanted to let me know about? Or? Can you tell me what's going on? Like, yeah, my, my we... Bugged, uh, at least. We we hundred percent will. Let me talk um, just with your team, and I'm going to come over here. Uh, just with those gentlemen, though, they're kind of my chain of command, like same as yours. So we'll come right back, um, talk with them. And we'll talk with you, sir. Thank you. Oh, sir. Do you guys? I assume some riders involved in the firearm. You guys are taking that for evidence, or so right now. So my sergeant's talking to one of the callers or victims. Um, okay. To the best of my knowledge, the vehicle got sealed and towed to our crime lab. So okay. everything right now is still inside the vehicle. Did he have the firearm on him? No. When we took, when he stepped out of the vehicle, he didn't have it on him okay. when he stepped out. And what about the badge? Anything like that? Um, I didn't cut him down. That officer did there. He didn't, I didn't see him pull anything out of his pockets. He didn't look like he had his badge on or anything like that. Um, but I can tell you in the passenger seat, I saw a vest that said sheriff, had his taser, like rifle mags, saw the radio in the cup holder, and then whatever hand pistol handgun was on the seat as well. Okay. Not in a holster or anything like that. Um, I'm trying to secure the badge. I believe he might have his wallet on him. So his commission card may be in his wallet. The badge, I'm not sure about. Okay. And I know my Sarge has to. Are you like to? Yeah. Yeah. All right, sir. So we just talked with your chain stuff. Investigation wise, things are going to be on pause. Um, again, we took your truck, sealed it just for evidentiary value. We're going to look over everything at a later time just to make sure we're doing what's right. So everything is justified. There's no questions. For tonight, though, um, you're being released. Um, nothing's going to take place further. We gave your chain the report number and stuff. Um, be, they are willing to give you a ride home. So we're going to get you out of these cuffs, sir. Thanks for being compliant. Um, so let's do that. Let's get you out of here, sir. Just... How, am I, uh, how am I able to get my phone, man? Uh, tomorrow morning, the one sergeant, I don't know if you saw the other one that was with me, he's in contact with the chain. <laughs> Once things are being like released and stuff, we can get... Like, get in contact with anybody without my phone. Man. Well, we, you know, too, like just our side, if we take something out of that truck, we're violating, you know, your rights and stuff. So we had to do the right thing, too. I'm sorry. So, so I guess, so, so I guess sorry. I mean, like, yeah. How do, do? Like, how do I get my phone? Or we're we're going to get probably everything to you tomorrow. So our detectives, they come out, start unsealing the vehicle, doing their uh, search warrant stuff and get your property back yeah we'll get you out of here sir oh that's your right one first one Cool. You have everything on you, sir, that you need? Yeah. All right. And then I think one of them will help you out, sir. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Going on.
I was just wondering if we would be able to have her come up. Sorry. Um, either way, whatever you're comfortable with, you want to just talk to me alone? Yeah. Fine. So, um, so just, just so you know, I'm going to be doing a little bit more looking into what was going on and what they alleged and that sort of thing. Okay. Um, as far as as far as everything that was going on here, you um, came in here um, and you. So from here, you purchased, you made a purchase, and then you come back outside and can see that on the video screen, right? Um, what, if you don't mind me asking, what did you purchase? And then and then you sat, you sat in the truck for a little bit longer, and uh, and you were out here for about five minutes before the exchange between the other two males. Um, what were you doing inside your vehicle? Sitting there, on some stuff, and just got off. And then, um, as far as um, I wasn't here when Rahimi talked to you the first time, um, what was said between you and the other two guys? Did, uh, was there anything more said after that, after that, like as they were walking away? No, Yeah, I saw you, I saw in the video that you did flash your lights yeah. and then one of them kind of like looks over and... I didn't see the other one. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I noticed that one was closer to the than the other at that yeah. point. And it seems like you're more talking to him than the other. Mm -hmm. Because the other one was probably, I don't know, two car spaces away from me. And, um, and then that, that that's at the point where you had said that um, just get the hell out of here or something was death. Get the fuck out of here. And so what was their response to you when you said that? Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, yes, you said that. And so there's an allegation of you pointing the gun at them. Um, at any time, did you uh, did you did you point your gun at them? Absolutely not. Okay. 
Um, where where was your firearm when this was all going on? It was like next to my my vest. Because once I got in there, I turned off my camera and took off my shield. I was like curious to how this is. And then, um, so it was, I'm, I'm picturing this as you're telling me, is in your like, passenger seat? It's either my passenger seat or my back. Okay. Did you go in, did you have your uh, firearm on when you went inside the, the business? I don't remember if I took it off. Before then, I don't have it on. Sure. Where do you normally carry it? On, on your side or on your side? And which, uh, what, what hand are you? Right handed? Okay. All right. And so, um, it's in the inside the belt holster? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what kind of weapon? Okay. And. Is there, is it black, silver, gray? It's black. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, does it have a flashlight on it? Yeah. Okay. And, because I know some don't. Yeah. Um, okay. Anything else that you can remember that about that interaction? Then, so pretty dark. Just to kind of recap, you said I was in the driver's seat mm -hmm. and I was talking to him. I was talking to him. Mm -hmm. Just to get mm -hmm. Did they realize it? Did you feel like they realized that you were a police officer? Or At the time that I put my lights on, yeah. uh -huh. that on the PA. Oh, oh, so. Absolutely. Fine. Oh, so you even got on the PA? Yeah, I see. To get out of here. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. <clears throat> so at that point, I just, I didn't know if they were, I just didn't want it, them to think that I was just like a regular civilian and mm -hmm. get into a fight or something like that. Gotcha. Just think that would be a colony. And it was because of your concern, because it looked like he was trying to re enter the store after it. Yeah, and she came out. And I, Something mm -hmm. Okay. I'm 10-4-10-8 there, but now it's beginning to get you to I have, uh, you, Sergeant, you me get your phone number? Uh, I don't know. The officer's got it from you, though, correct? Your or information? Or the officers, at least. Get your phone number. If anything, let me grab it now, just so we have it. So is there any... Just in case I need a phone to ask you anything else. If you want to talk to me, just like now, it's like What's your phone number? My phone's in the so Okay. I'll probably be working on that pretty soon, and I'll be able to get you guys stuff back. He has my he has my information, so I need to get my name to Jericho Barrel. And so um Sergeant Rahimi's gonna be doing like the initial um report for it and then I'm gonna be doing the follow-up for everything else that comes after. Um so if you have any questions, I gave you my phone, my contact information, so I'll be able to get in touch with you. All right. All right. I appreciate your time. Thank you, sir. Once the officers get a chance to search Baracko's truck, they seize the following items. A handgun with one round in the chamber, loaded extended magazine in the handgun with 20 rounds of ammunition. A spare magazine with 17 rounds of ammo. 16 empty 100ml vodka bottles. 3 empty 200ml vodka bottles, 2 body-worn cameras. 
Greco voluntarily surrendered to the police department the following Friday morning after being formally charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and negligent use of a firearm. He was booked into the Metropolitan Detention Center. The sheriff's office said Brecco has been employed by the department for eight years. He is currently assigned to the Criminal Investigations Division as a detective and is part of the organized retail crime unit. He was placed on administrative leave, which is standard protocol. Bernalillo County Sheriff's Deputy Michael Borreco has had one of two aggravated assault charges dropped. One charge of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon charge was dropped because one of the victims did not show up in court. Borreco pleaded not guilty to the other aggravated assault charge and negligent use of a deadly weapon charges. A search of Barreco's government-issued vehicle found a duty-issued gun with mounted accessories, loaded extended magazines, and two police body cameras. Additionally, two empty New Amsterdam 100 milliliters vodka bottles were found in the center console. In the back seat, within trash and fast food bags, detectives located approximately 14 empty New Amsterdam vodka bottles and three empty Smirnoff vodka bottles. He was booked on aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and negligent use of a deadly weapon. Bernalillo County Sheriff John Allen has stated he will let the internal affairs process go through but it is highly unlikely Barreco will be employed with the department.